Welcome to 28 Pickett Street. This is Capital Group's um, first SDA project. My name is Irene and today I'm going to take you through. Come on, I'll show you. So this project is nearing completion, hence the beautiful booties. Um, regarding this corridor, we had to work really closely with SDA consultants to ensure that enough space was allowed for it, obviously for wheelchair access and any sort of general requirements um, in regards to special disability accommodation. So as you can see here, we've got aluminium skirting throughout the apartments. It's a bit different to what you'd usually get, which is like a timber skirting. This is aluminium, it's slimmer, it's smoother, it's less bulky and it'll just make it easier for occupants to move around. So moving on to our balcony area, as you can see, the door handle has been set at a certain height just to make it easier for occupants to open. Very easy to slide, open the door and you're out. Moving on to the kitchen, we've had to work with a special disability consultant again, just to ensure that enough spacing was within the kitchen. We have this adjustable bench that moves up and down, very convenient for occupants. It's also on wheels, so that'll make it easy for them to suit themselves. We have also had to do this other um, requirement for special disability accommodation, which is basically just some spacing underneath the sink for easy access and convenience. So over here, we're standing outside the spare room. Again, we had to work really closely with our special disability consultant, just because we didn't have enough spacing on either side to make it compliant. So in order to get that compliance, we had to just make it automated and just, there you go. The door opens, easier to access for occupants. So over here, we're standing in the spare room. One of the special disability requirements was to provide these batteries in each apartment, which is basically like a backup power supply for all these electrical features, just like this automated door. Let's keep moving. So moving on to our main bedroom, as you can see, our cavity sliders have been fitted off with these handles that have been specifically located onto these doors just to make it easier for our occupants to open. Obviously, meeting certain heights and length requirements. Moving on, we've got these power points, which look a little bit different to what you'd usually get. Buttons are a little bit bigger just to make it easier for occupants to access and the heights have been set at a particular standard. Another beautiful feature within these main bedrooms is the automated roll of lines, which will just make it much easier for our occupants to open and close as they wish. How good is that? <laughs> Moving on to our bathroom, we've got some special disability fixtures that have to be installed, such as the backrest and then this easily accessible tap that our occupants can easily reach. The main part of the bathroom and the best part is this beautiful big shower that our occupants will be able to easily use which has also been fitted off with some, again, specifically required um, sanitary fixtures. As I walk you out, I just wanted to show you case one more feature that is very specific to this project, and that is the spacing next to the entry door, which we had to um, allow for a specific amount of space for our occupants to freely open the door with no obstruction. 